What's up, everybody? My name is Justin. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Mona. And today I'm back at it again with another tutorial. This time it's all about artifacts. In the Mona metaverse, each space is an NFT. And within these spaces, you're able to display NFT objects, which we lovingly refer to as artifacts. These artifacts include anything from a JPEG image to an MP4 or a GIF, or even a 3D model that's a GLB file. You can display artifacts that you've minted on the Mona platform, and you can also display artifacts that have been minted on other platforms. I'm gonna walk you through how to use the Mona Unity template to start importing NFT artifacts into your Mona space. Let's get started. In order to demonstrate how artifacts work inside of Mona, I'm going to dive into a Mona.gallery space created by AMAC or Alex Maceda. So inside her space, she has a really beautiful triptych NFT piece. So these are three individual NFTs. And as you'll see, as I aim the camera towards an NFT, Mona will sense that you're looking at an NFT and it'll give you a little pop-up in your bottom right corner, giving you more info, including the artifact's title, the artifact artist, and an action, which is click to see more details. So if I click while I'm aimed at the NFT, it brings up this new window, again, showing me information about who created the artifact, the title of the artifact, the year of creation, and a bit of a longer description for that artifact. For artifacts that are minted inside of Mona, this would actually be a buy button allowing you to collect this particular artifact. For now, it's linked to OpenSea since this is where that artifact was minted. So if I click here, you'll see it'll bring me right to the OpenSea page where I can make an offer on this piece. So that's how artifacts work inside of Mona. Okay, inside the space starter template inside of Unity, I'm now going to show you how to import your NFT artifacts into your Mona space. So under the space prefab, you have the artifacts layer. For each NFT artifact in your scene, it should belong to its own artifact prefab. So within this artifact prefab, you have example artifact, which is this actual sphere geometry. And then you have this object, Artifact 1, which is the box collider for that artifact. So what you'll want to do is import your own geometry for the NFT that you'd like to display. Once again, using AMAX work as an example, she has this beautiful NFT listed on OpenSea. If I want to display this in Mona, here's how I would go about doing so. First, I'm going to save this image. I'm gonna to navigate to the add your art here folder and just save this here. And I'll just save it as painting one. And then inside of Unity, we can see this is where the image got saved to in our project folder. It's up to you the way you'd like to display these NFT artifacts. It could be as something as simple as dropping a plane into the scene and mapping the image to the front of the plane. But since a plane is flat and this is a painting that was created by the artist, I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to emulate a canvas. So I'm gonna go to 3D object cube. I'm gonna zero this out so it's at the center of my scene. And on this cube, I'm gonna drop a new material. So I'm gonna right click, create material, and we'll just call this painting one material. And on the material, we have this albedo map. This is where all the color, the flat color information is going to go. So I'm gonna take this texture file, I'm gonna click and drag and drop it right on that albedo map. And then I'm gonna click and drag this material and drop it right on the cube. Since this is a canvas, I'm going to 
flatten this a bit, but I'm still gonna make sure it has some depth along the side of it. Now this is a super quick example. So I highly recommend if you wanna do something like creating a, a canvas object, you can go through and, and actually uh, map the UVs better and you can add in uh, you know different specularity maps to give it more detail when the light hits it. For right now, just for this quick example, I'm showing you how to make a, a super quick canvas object for a, a 2D NFT. I'm also gonna scale this up a little bit bigger. Okay, so you know now we have a, uh, a canvas in our scene. Drop this down a little lower. Just gonna reposition it here. All right. Now, to add this artifact, I'm actually going to drag and drop on top of our artifact prefab. So it's a part of the same prefab. And I'm now going to delete this existing sphere since I don't need it anymore. It's going to ask me to open the prefab to do so. I'm going to click open and I'm just going to delete it there. I'm going to click the back arrow. Let's go back into our main scene. And now the, the most important thing here uh, is taking artifact one and you want to make sure this artifact one object, similar to how we set up our portal object, this collision box should encompass the entire size of the NFT. When you're inside of Mona looking around your scene, this is what the camera is actually gonna be looking for is this collision box. So I'm just gonna scale this up. And there we go. I just wanna make it about the same size as the NFT object. Maybe make it a little bit smaller too, there we go. That'll be close enough. Great. So now I'm gonna click on this space prefab at the top here. I'm gonna go over to Overrides, Apply All. I'm gonna click File, Save. And now I'm going to go to Assets, Build Asset Bundles. Okay, back in our mona.gallery slash playground, I'm gonna find that space asset bundle that we just built. I'm gonna click and drag and drop it into the browser. So it's gonna load up. And now we're on our space where we have our portal and we have that artifact that we just placed there. So see how it looks like a nice canvas just floating in midair. And now as I look at that artifact, we'll see this menu pop up. You're looking at an artifact. Since this is Mona Playground, it's giving me the message. You'll be able to add info and link to its marketplace home when you mint. And it's also giving me the artifact name in the Unity hierarchy, which is Artifact 1. So that's all you really need to do in order to get your artifacts imported into your Mona space. So once our minting feature is enabled, that's when you'll actually be able to take all the artifacts that you've included in your Mona space, and you'll be able to add info to them, including a more detailed description and a link to wherever it's minted. So in this case, I would include that link that we had for uh, where this piece is listed in OpenSea. Say you wanna have more than one artifact in your scene. Well, that's awesome, you can do that too. In order to do that, you're gonna go back to the artifacts layer inside of Unity. You're gonna click on artifact prefab and you're gonna right click and click duplicate. Now you'll see it's giving me a new artifact prefab. I'm gonna rename this just to keep things more organized to artifact prefab two. And this artifact one object, I'm also going to rename to artifact two. It's important that you stay super organized when it comes to naming your artifacts. 
I'm just going to maintain this sort of naming structure where we're going to increase in our uh, number count at the end of the artifact name. So we'll go artifact one, artifact two. If we have a third, we'll go artifact three. Now I'm back in OpenSea and again, I'm going to use AMAC's beautiful work for this example. I found another one of AMAX NFTs that I'm going to import into my Mona space as a new artifact. So once again, I'm gonna right click, save as, I'll just name this painting two. Back in Unity, we'll see painting two texture arrived here. Then I'm gonna right click, create new material. This one I'll call painting two material. And once again, on the albedo map, I'm gonna drag and drop this texture. And then back in the hierarchy, I'm gonna take this top level prefab and I'm actually gonna move this entire thing here. So I'm just gonna select the actual prefab, which contains artifact two and cube. I'm gonna slide it to the left. So it's right next to artifact one. Also to keep things organized, uh, I'm gonna rename cube as well to cube two. Then I'm gonna take painting two material. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto cube two. There we go. And now if I click on artifact two, you'll see that box collider is now encompassing cube two since we moved the entire prefab over. So now we have two artifacts in our scene. So this will be important for every new artifact you wanna add, it should all maintain this hierarchy and structure. So each artifact is gonna be in its own artifact prefab with its own artifact collider and the actual geometry for the artifact. I'm just gonna um, make sure I'm gonna click on space prefab, overrides apply all. And that's gonna save all the changes we've made. I'm gonna to go to file save, and then I'm gonna to go to assets, build asset bundles once again. Back in our monad.gallery slash playground, I'm gonna go back to that streaming assets folder, select the space asset bundle, drag and drop. All right, now we're back in our space and you can see that artifact has now been added to our space. And you'll also notice when I look at artifact one, it's giving me game object name artifact one. And when I look at artifact two, that changes, it's giving me game object name artifact two. So it's indeed picking up that there's another artifact in the scene. And for further proof of that, down in our bottom right hand corner, we have our space summary where it's now finding two artifacts in the scene. So that's all you need to do in order to successfully import NFT artifacts into your Mona space. The next step will be actually connecting these NFT artifacts to external marketplaces via URL link, and also adding detailed information about your NFTs, including the title, the year it was created, the artist's name, and uh, the description. I'm gonna make a, another tutorial showing you how to do all of that once our minting feature is activated. Until our minting feature is active, you can still set up your scene using this tutorial and this process, importing all the artifacts that you'd like to display. And then when it does come time to mint, you'll be properly set up to add all of the descriptive information and link everything properly. That's going to be it for this artifact tutorial. Stay tuned for the next one when I show you that next step once our minting feature is activated. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, like the video, subscribe, share it with a friend. We have some links in the description. If you haven't already, sign up for the Filecoin forum. Filecoin is giving away $200,000 to its favorite 3D spaces that are built during the month of October. There's still time to sign up. Definitely jump in on that. We also have a link to join our Discord. We have an amazing creative community forming there. 
So definitely slide in there. We're always here. We're always active. If you have any questions at all, we're here to help. We're so excited to build this decentralized metaverse with you. So until the next time, I'll see you in the Discord. Thanks for joining.